The first step in treating a disease in your quarantine or even display is actually identifying what disease you're dealing with. And there's a lot of different white spots. Today, we're gonna to talk about three of the major white spots and how to identify them. It's actually easier than you think. And we have Elliot from Marine Collectors here to tell us all about what they are and what you look for. Yeah, so the major three are gonna be ick, velvet, and lymphocystis, or lympho for short. Uh, we're gonna kind of just run through what the symptoms look like, how they appear, what the differences are between the three. Uh, that way you can better identify what they are and treat the fish accordingly. All right, the first one is lympho, and uh, it's important to correctly identify this one because if this is what you have, you have nothing to worry about and you shouldn't treat for it. So what does it look like? All right, so lympho uh, or lymphocystis, it's actually just uh, lymphatic tissue. A lot of times you'll see it sometimes on butterflies, um, angelfish, a lot of times it'll pop up, especially in copper and quarantine. Basically, they're little white pustules. Um, sometimes it's called cauliflower disease because as the pustules grow, it actually looks like little tufts of cauliflower. Um, but it also can present in very small pustules as well, even mimicking the size of ick. Um, sometimes it's only on the fins, and sometimes it's actually the same size as ick, so it can often be confused. The biggest notable difference is that it doesn't fall off like ick will. Um, the spots that you see on ick, a lot of times they'll disappear within the first 24 to 48 hours if you actually look at the individual spots. This, it'll be there for, you know, weeks until it actually um, either gets picked off by, you know, let's say a cleaner shrimp um, or the fish actually sheds it itself. A couple of things that I've noticed about it is typically it will be the largest of the white spots uh, that are in the tank. Uh, often you still call it cauliflower disease, meaning that you can actually see the lumpy texture on it. And part of the reason you can see it so well is a lot of times, like most of the time, it will show up on the fins and the tail and like clear spots uh, of the fish where it's really easy to see this big white lump that's kind of yeah. uh, lumpy. I like cauliflower. If that's what you're seeing, don't worry about it. It's just going to go away on its own and it isn't ick, it isn't velvet, and you don't need to treat for it. All right, so if it is lymph, first thing to note is that it's a virus. Uh, there's actually no known treatment for it. Um, the second thing is that the best course of action is to not medicate. Uh, medications like copper will actually exacerbate the problem and actually make the condition worse. Um, best course of action, just clean water, good diet, uh, and low stress. Next is the identification of ick versus velvet, both tiny little white spots, but people often overcomplicate the identification of these two. Uh, what should I be looking for with velvet? Uh, so with velvet, it's actually really simple. If you think of like the dust that'll collect on your desk or on the shelf, uh, very, very small, thin, powdery little particles. Um, you can think of powdered sugar. They don't really protrude off the body too much. They more lay flat. Um, if you actually look down laterally of the body of the fish, you can actually see it a lot better as well. Now, this isn't always true, but it is a reasonably good uh, root, uh, rule of thumb, which is if you can count the amount of particles, it's probably not velvet. You could, could have caught it really early, but the intermediary and end stages of velvet, there's no way you're gonna be able to count it. Another thing that you should be looking for with velvet, sadly, is that a lot of stuff is dying really fast. Velvet just moves really, really quickly. So if you're losing things really quickly, probably velvet. All right, Ick, how would I identify the difference between that and velvet? Because it does look different. Okay, so first off, the actual particle size of the spot, it is bigger. Uh, if you think of velvet as powdered sugar, ick is going to be a lot more like the size of, let's say, a grain of salt. Uh, if you actually dump out salt on your desk, you know, you can actually see the size, shape, the fact that it actually protrudes up off the surface. Very similarly, uh, ick will look just like that on the fish. And in terms of how many they are, it's often said that if you can count them, it's probably ick. And that's true actually in the early stages uh, and maybe even intermediate stages, but end stages of ick, it will look like you dump the whole salt shaker on it uh, and it will be covered and you won't be able to count them, but that's really, really late in the game. All right, so what if I still can't tell what it is? There are actually some other cues here, like one, uh, if the spot is gone in a day uh, and uh, the fish didn't die, probably ick. Uh, why would that be? Yeah, so I mean, a lot of people don't know, but when the spot actually shows up on the fish, uh, that's usually within 24 to 48 hours that that actual parasite's gonna fall off the fish. Uh, if it's velvet and it's been you know, more than a couple days and the fish is still alive, you are very, very lucky. Normally that fish would have died by now. Um, honestly, you probably would have lost a lot of fish in the tank. Um, also, if you happen to be losing fish and they never showed symptoms, it's also more likely velvet. Uh, ick, 
if it starts showing up, you have a lot of time because the actual replication stages of uh, ick are a lot slower and it takes a lot longer for those parasites to actually spread and overtake the entire system. So one of the things here is uh, the uh, velvet will fall off too, right? But there's so many stages of the velvet on the fish and so many little ones all over. It'd be really hard to tell if one of them fell off, right? But if I have a few spots of uh, ick on the fish, I can look at it and know where they are and see them tomorrow they fell off. More likely ick and velvet than velvet at this point, especially if the fish looks healthy. Another good tell is if you haven't added any livestock to the tank in a really long time and all of a sudden you start to see white spots, it is probably ick, but why? All right, so to be perfectly honest, if you have velvet in your system, it's so virulent that it'll probably take over. Um, it's not the type of thing that's usually masked by a healthy fish. Um, it's just, it's so uh, quick in terms of overtaking a system. Ick, not so much. Symptoms can definitely be subdued, especially with a really healthy fish, especially with a fish that has a really strong immune system. Um, you know, and a lot of times if you have a system where you have a lot of fish in there, they haven't been added, or sorry, you haven't added new fish in a long time, um, what will happen is like, you know, you might have a stress event of some kind, you'll see a few spots pop up, um, but you won't see like this massive outbreak. It'll just be like a couple flare ups here and there. Yeah, so I think that brings up the point that there is such a thing as the ick management like method, right? You can just accept that ick is going to be in the tank and manage to that fact. I've never actually seen the uh, velvet management method because I don't think it exists. <laughs> so like for that reason, if you have seen uh, or haven't put any livestock in the tank and you haven't seen any disease for a long time, and then you see a couple of white spots, much, much, much more likely that it was ick. A little bit more finite than that is that if your outbreak is actually within a week of adding a new fish and it spreads to another fish visibly in the tank, way more likely to be velvet than ick. Why is that? All right, so if you actually look at the life cycle, uh, ick, it just takes too long. Uh, let's just say hypothetically, right? You got a fish that had ick, um, parasites dropped off that particular fish within 18 hours or so, it'll actually create the uh, tomont on the substrate, uh, three days to 76 days, depending on the temperature of the water, right? Uh, or maybe the particular strain, it'll hatch, it'll reattach to the fish. Uh, and then at absolute soonest, three days you know, of, of the feeding stage actually on the fish, you'll see that spot actually show up on a different fish, right? Um, and that's already you know, been a week's time. Um, it, it's velvet, it'll spread to those fish much, much faster. Yeah, so ick will take over a week to go from your brand new fish you put in the tank to show up on another tank, or another fish rather. So uh, if you see it right away and it's spreading from one fish to another one, specifically from the one you just added, most likely velvet. All right, another one is actually symptom-free fish just start dying. Almost certainly not ick, but it could be velvet. Yeah, so unfortunately, velvet, it's incredibly, incredibly virulent, um, and it also populates a lot faster and with a lot higher numbers. Um, so a lot of times what you could have is, you know, let's say you have a population of fish in your tank, uh, and you just have these mysterious deaths, right? And the fish were totally fine, you know, today, tomorrow, you know, they're dead on the sand or something. Um, a lot of times you actually won't even see the physical symptoms of velvet until, like, it's just the last few stragglers that, like, were fighting it off to the best that they could. Um, ick, it's not as virulent, and you will definitely see the actual physical symptoms on the body first before the fish start dying. Um, well, it's just one of those things, you know, it's just so, so uh, predatory and it just takes over so quickly. So if you're not seeing white spots, it could be a lot of different things, but uh, velvet should make the mix of things you're considering, but not ick. Right, so there's also a couple other types of white spot in your tank, and one of them is debris and sand, actually. <laughs> Yeah, so you know, it does happen. Fish do bump into things. They do get sand or sometimes detritus stuck on them. Uh, you know, personally me, I always like to fixate on like, oh my God, you know, there's spots on the fish. I'm freaking out. I got to make sure that, you know, my tank is fully eradicated and, you know, I get overly paranoid. But a lot of times you just need to take a step back and take a look at the fish and be like, okay, you know, it's actually not anything I need to worry about. A couple things to look for is uh, if that sand stays there for multiple days, it's probably sand. Another one to look for is if it falls off like right in front of your eyes, it's probably tank debris. And the other one is just decide, does it look like sand? All right, so let's pretend that we still can't identify what it is and we're gonna have to guess. Well, it's just a gamble or educated gamble at this point. 
but there are different uh, risks with each side of the gamble, so go into it eyes open. Starting with guessing uh, that it's ick is actually a bigger gamble in some ways. Why would that be? Yeah, so ick, you always have time. Velvet, it kills within days. You know, ick, it'll take at least weeks, um, especially if you know, it's a relatively new outbreak. The thing is that if you've got velvet and you wait to observe, chances are by the time that you pull the fish out, most of your fish are probably gonna be dead already. Yeah, so if you guess ick and guess wrong, uh, probably everything's going to die. All right, there's also a downside to guessing wrong that it's velvet. What is that? All right, so unfortunately it means that you have to act really fast. It's gonna be very, very labor intensive. Uh, if you think that you have velvet in your display tank, you're probably gonna be taking apart your aquascape, you know, maybe draining the tank down, catching all the fish, putting them into a medicated quarantine. Uh, unfortunately, you just you don't have the luxury to wait to see if the symptoms progress. You have to act really, really fast and get on it as soon as possible. Um, you know, with ick, you have a little bit of time, but velvet, really, it's just like act now or, you know, it might be too late. Yeah, so if you guessed wrong on velvet, the problem is, is you just put your tank through a major unnecessary stress event, uh, tearing all the oxygen apart, capturing all the fish, medicating them, uh, all kind of unnecessary if it isn't velvet. However, if it is end stage, meaning that uh, the fish are actually, you know, either covered in uh, white spots being ick or velvet, and it's trending uh, bad, meaning progressively getting worse. Well, the good news is the treatment is almost the same. And you know what? We have it right here.